Hi guys, today I want to talk about these tiny quads. I want to tell you the differences and if you want to start FPV flying, just get one of these mini quads, these tiny quads. You can get some practice with it, you can accommodate yourselves with the goggle. Of course you should get a good goggle at the beginning, which isn't the cheap entry into the hobby anymore, but yeah, you will, you will figure out what your budget allows. Go ahead and check out the mini quads. I already showed you this tiny hate, a tiny H8, which is nice, with this 5.8 five micro FPV setup on it. So I flew this a lot and I want to do a compilation of cool flights with it soon. And here I have two new ones, the X73 and the QX90. So here you have three different sizes, the tiny H8, I already showed it, it's nice, it's cool for beginners, you don't have to do a lot. And the other two, uh, their main advantage is that they can use clean flight, flight control software, and this gives you some freedom, like you can have acro mode. From the flight characteristics, I liked the smaller one uh, better. I mean the QX90 has larger motors, but I don't feel that extra punch. You also have larger batteries like the 600 milliamp compared to this 350 milliamps. But when flying this, um, first I had huge vibrations. Maybe you should balance these tiny props. Um, didn't like the vibrations. I didn't have a lot of power or throttle reserve. On one occasion I misjudged my height and bumped to the ground, fell over, camera tipped back and broke off a tiny little spool part and it immediately stopped working so lessons learned from this if you get this with these unprotected cams at least use some heat shrink around the cam or some tape to protect the, the internals of the cam against the crash there's a 600 milliamp battery on the bottom just held in place with this rubber band. Also the camera is at the moment just held in place with the rubber band which is kind of nice because on crashes it will just bend back. So the flight characteristics of the X73 were actually really nice. It was just a matter of installing the USB driver to actually get the mini quad or the tiny quad speaking with the laptop. Um, but if you follow the, the guides of clean flight where you uh, get pointed to the drivers, it shouldn't be a problem. I didn't do a lot of pit tuning to be honest. I just wanted to set up my radio. I use the Taranis. There is the option to, to get them with the FreeSky receiver, which I highly recommend if you have a FreeSky. So I could easily bind this with my Taranis and set the switches like on my other mini quads. And I even have the same mode switch for acro and manual mode like on my other mini quads. So that's super convenient. And if you fly, even if you fly indoors, it feels like you fly with a real mini quad because you have the same switches and the same feeling. Only you don't have the power uh, on the throttle axis. 
it can be really fast on yawing so I had I, I needed a lot of uh, yaw expo and indoors I find it easier to fly in stable mode nonetheless because it really gets fast in the acro mode indoors and you end up crashing a lot in the mech in the acro mode if you fly outdoors I almost anytime fly with the acro mode and it gets fast like a racer but if you fly fast you don't have, have enough power on the motors to do really quick maneuvers and it doesn't allow a lot of wind so it should be calm or only slight breeze for this to be fun to fly outdoors I mean you can fly it in winds but it's just you you fight against the wind all the time with these tiny quads so no wind out of super fun uh, fly through the bushes and the trees uh, video was actually quite good I will show you a few scenes from this Bumpy outside. Whoa! Okay. Tends to get a bit snowy. Blah. Okay. Sitting inside and yeah. Oh, just flew four packs of those large packs. With this guy here and the prop guards are weak. Don't like this too much, but other than that, it flew fine. The rate mode was, or the acro mode was too heavy for me. I flew it in stable mode inside. It was better to control. My recommendations: if you're a total noob and just want to have some fun, still get the Tiny H8 or something similar to this. It only involved a little bit of soldering. I link you the initial review of this tiny H8. So you can fly this nice with the with the tiny remote. Of course it's not the best and it's not a lot of range. Uh, if you want to use the Taranis or something like this uh, you get to buy or you have to buy a 30, 32 euro module for the Taranis module bay. For these two uh, guys you can or you have to play around with clean flight it's a plus and a minus. Uh, for newbies it might be a bigger step to step into this. But yeah, if you already have a Taranis, that's the way to go for sure. And they are actually quite quite cheap. I think this is $60 uh, with the FPV cam on it. It just doesn't come with batteries nor with spare parts, which is, which is a shame. I've seen this. Um, Banggood was nice enough to send me those two quads. I've seen this on a German store, Red Bee Copter. Uh, they sell it for more bucks, but they have spares. And they sell it with, with batteries, which is a good idea. I had to get these Super Q166 Riot LiPos. And they were quite expensive. They were like $9 each, or 9 euros each. But they don't give me much more flight time either. I'm at two and a half minutes maximum three minutes and if the flight time is over it has an awful tendency to just fall out of the sky it just doesn't descend slowly or something like this it doesn't warn you it just boom, falls out of the sky so just make sure if you fly somewhere risky with this tiny quad do the risky part at the beginning of the battery life in the first minute and 
I, w I wouldn't want to fly with this uh, quad over water anyways. But yeah, just keep in mind you can fall out of the sky anytime and yeah, you don't want to fly over an unrecoverable area with this. Now I just want to fly in comparison for myself. I want to fly the tiny H8 for which I need this wrapped up uh, module for the Tyrannus Bay, back module bay. This is how it looks when you insert this little tiny, tiny little module. Okay, so there's no arming procedure, you just throttle up. And fly it! And fly it like you stole it. Oh my god, what did I do to the rates here? It's just so... Oh fuck! Just so... Responsive and the video is bad. The video on the X73 was better, actually. I'm so not used to flying this little tiny one here but it handles nice turns are sharp no I honestly I don't see much difference between clean flight in the stable mode and this whatever flight controller it is here and if you stick to flying it in the stable mode and this little tiny bugger is okay. Ah! This is scary. Oh. Get this tiny H8 instead of this. X33. This one still has the advantage that it can use clean flight and acron mode and so, such things, but to have some fun you don't need it. So I had more fun flying with this and I also had more flying time. So little unplanned extra rounds with these quads. I'm glad I did try, try those both in a row to see for you which is better and at the moment definitely the tiny age at 8 tiny hate as I call it. It's not a hater, I love it. Stay tuned for another update of my hunger stuff, all the other stuff that's in here. And stay informed via our session. <laughs> Thanks for watching!